Hello everyone. This is the first video in our series on design pattern. If you like and interested in this series of videos, go ahead right away and smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon for new video notification. I hope this video is helpful for everyone. So let's start with agenda slide where we take a look at what we are going to learn through today's tutorial. Firstly, we will talk about the history of design pattern followed by the notion of design pattern along with real time analogy about design pattern and then we will discuss about the advantages as as well as the disadvantages of design pattern in this slide we will talk about the history of design pattern in general the concept of pattern was originally articulated by christopher alexander and its colleagues in late 1970 but actually it gains popularity after the book element of reusable object oriented software was published in 1994 by eric gama and its fellow researchers so called gang of four in this series we will talk about all the design patterns of these books explained by the gang of four before understanding the grassroots of design pattern one point you need to remember that the design pattern is not the brainchild of software industry but it is borrowed from the manufacturing industry in such a way that it is extremely helpful to software industry as we know any industry whether it is a software or manufacturing industry design play an important role for the success of any product if your design is good automatically the product performance is good and maintenance is easy in contrast if your design is poor your product may fail design is mandatory which can be achieved by using design pattern let's move to the next slide here we will discuss the exact definition of the design pattern as per the wikipedia so the exact definition is design design pattern is a general reusable solution to commonly occurring problem within a given context in a software design now we will elaborate this definition to understand the meaning behind the design pattern when we build any software obviously certain problems and some of the problems are very generic or common problems we can say so what if we solve these problems in a most efficient way and provide the generic solution to that common problem in such a way that when any novice developer facing the same problem then then he or she can use our already created ready made solutions according to his or her need and generate its own concrete solution here the person who generate core or generic solution to commonly occurring problem is called as an expert and they says for software design so that novice developer can use these best practices to solve recurring problems and that best practices are commonly called as design pattern in short we can say design pattern help to solve commonly occurring problem mapping core design to concrete design some of the key points we should know about design patterns are first one is design patterns help to achieve design vocabulary design pattern also help to achieve design reusability design patterns design patterns help to provide better object creation mechanism for object composition and its interaction the one of real life analogy to understand the concept of design pattern is nothing but the household mixy that we use to grind different types of ingredient and here depending upon the type of ingredients we choose mixer pot or mixer blades so here the total mixer is the core solution for grinding but depending upon the ingredient type we change the mixer component but the basic arrangement is same and that and remember design pattern always provides a core solution and not the concrete or exact solution in terms of software design patterns always talk about the object creation object composition as well as object interaction 
in the next slide the next slide we will talk about the advantages and disadvantages of design pattern so let's start with the advantages of design pattern first design pattern provides a common design vocabulary it just like an computer scientist or programmers create name for their algorithm similar similarly design pattern provides a common vocabulary for design designers to communicate they provides a highly flexible solutions secondly design pattern solutions are highly flexible and can be used pragmatically for most applications or domains third they provide well proven and testified solution what does it means as design pattern builds upon the knowledge of experience of experts software developer the solution provided by design patterns are always risk free fourth one is the wage neutral means we can implement the design pattern solutions for any language that support object oriented programming some of the disadvantages of design patterns are as follows the first one is the first one is patterns are complex in nature and you need to need to understand the patterns thoroughly before implementation that is the most important thing about the design pattern second one is uh, pattern do not lead to direct code reuse so it provides a core solution to problem only if you need to modify according to your need third one is decreases understandability by adding indirection so what is the indirection how it will work that we will discuss in our next video so thank you thank you so much and for more videos please subscribe and share this video.